Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Riccardo Cipolletti. I am from Bosch Research and I'm a PhD student at Mainz University. Today, I'm going to talk about nuclear magnetic resonance gyroscopes. These quantum sensors can enlarge lots of possibilities for the future as they have a very high drift stability and can do this in a very small package. If you come to my poster, I will be happy to explain to you how this works in details. In this sensor, we use nuclear spins of xenon that is processing as a reference for rotation sensing. The measurement protocol includes initialization of the xenon state, what we do by a cuddly metal vapor that we can access with laser light. Then the interaction that is the rotation of the entire system. And then again, using rubidium that has an optical transition, we can read out the precession frequency with a laser. An experiment would look like this, including pump and probe laser and magnetic field generation. You can see here a millimeter sized um, MEMS vapor cell that includes the gas and the alkali vapor that is our central element of the sensor. To develop and tune such a sensor, modeling is a very important part because it allows us to understand our system in very much detail. For example, in our model, we have blocks that simulate the precession and the reaction of xenon, especially in this case, we are including the transient be behavior to be able to see all effects. And then we can get out our signals as a time series. You can see here that the signal of such a nuclear magnetic resonance gyroscope actually will deviate significantly from the analytical solution that one can get pretty easily. That's what we use our model for. You can see here, for example, the beating of two xenon isotopes and the initial, initial transient behavior of the system. We are using two xenon isotopes to correct bias drifts as the two xenon isotopes will rotate in different direction and have different frequencies. So we can separate the signals and thus correct stray fields or stray drifts. In this plot, you can see a parameter study once with the analytical steady state solution, then with a numerical solution that includes all magnetic fields and you can see a slight shift and then a um, system model that includes all interactions and you can see another further shift in the system. On the right hand, you see a typical response of the system to a step signal. You can see this still will be optimized in future work that we are going to present. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope I will see you at my poster. Thank you very much.